this tutorial looks at uh, channel definition. So after deciding on um, which channels we are going to create during the um, implementation phase going forward, we now have to figure out, figure out exactly what kind of content and why what we're going to do with each of these channels. So this is this section is called channel definition. Now I mentioned last uh, tutorial that while it's called channel definition, it's not really about defining the channel as such. It's about, um, I don't want anyone to turn around and give me a textbook definition of what, you know, Twitter is or what um, Instagram is or whatever the case might be. It's not really, this particular phase is not really about us just telling us, about you telling us what, um, you know, how many users it has and when it was created and all of these kind of things. It's about telling us what you're going to do with the particular channel to help you achieve your aims. Now, what channel definition means that where possible, you're going to lay out the channel in as much detail as possible. Some of these channels you will be describing um, and some of these channels you will be drawing, such as storyboards, etc. And when you can possibly draw a storyboard, you should do it. OK, so in the case of definitely in the case of a website, definitely in the case of apps, I'll be expecting um, a storyboard but in the case of something like Facebook I'm not really expecting or Twitter I'm not really expecting you to draw out what it looks like because what your Twitter account looks like and um, will be very similar to what somebody else's Twitter account looks like so really when it comes down to those types of channels it's about telling me what you're going to do in as much and as um, as specific detail as possible so maybe you're going to launch campaigns, what kind of campaigns, when, how often. Maybe it's going to be, oh, you're going to have um, some sort of a competition. What kind of competition? When are you going to do it? What will it achieve? Those types of things. OK, so that's what I'd be expecting for channel definition in those particular cases. Um, so we're moving into, as I said, the defined stage, the second channel or, or second part of the strategies. Okay? And again, storyboards discussion will define in detail the content specifics of each component of the digital campaign describe in as much detail as possible the specifics of what will be what will be on each channel you have chosen use storyboards an example where appropriate so i've mentioned those already i think it's really important that that we focus on those so um after this particular section when you're looking at um your channel definition we should know why you're using each channel and um, what they're going to look like, what kind of uh, commitment you're going to have to them and so on. So in case you don't already know, I'm going to just lay out what a storyboard is. A storyboard is a graphical representation of each and every page of your website. OK, so while you might have 10 pages in your website and six of them might be very similar, I still want to see a graphical representation of each and every page. OK. Same would be the case if you have an app and you've got five screens on your app. I would like to see a graphical representation of those. Quite often this is uh, is done in, in PowerPoint and most people use PowerPoint because it's actually, um, you're very um, familiar with it. But you can draw them out if you want to. Some people have over the years drawn them out. But the, the beauty of using PowerPoint is if you need to change something going forward, it's very simple to do so. Drawing might mean you might need to draw another screen of something again and so on. So um, the whole idea of this is to concentrate on the content of the site that you uh, improve using SEO. So this is the idea of a storyboard. Again, I don't want anyone um, getting too carried away with this. This is obviously drawn. I'll show you ones in a second which are done using, um, using PowerPoint, which is far more common. Um, so this is what ground control have done for their example. All right. So I'm going to show you that in certain cases with the website, they've storyboarded with the rest of the, they've described what they're going to do, which is perfectly normal. OK, um, so you'll see exactly what I mean by this. So I'm going to start off with the, with the website and on the website, this is their home page. OK, and again, this was created on PowerPoint um, and you can see that their menu will go across here. You've got your header and you've got, well, you can't see the footer, but they have a footer down below. Video here, 
you know, three main sections on the site and so on. So in total, they are going to have at least one, two, three, four, five, six pages. OK, now they might have other pages off those and so on, but at least six pages. So as I said, the storyboard will show each and every page of the actual website. Um, and you can see this is their footer down along here. So this will appear on every page. Um, and up here above this line here will appear on every page. And the only bit that's different from page to page is what appears in here in the main content of it. Um, so we'll scoot. We're, oh, I won't show you every page that they've done. But um, you can see here that, you know, they've put a lot of detail into it. Now, what I just want to say about the storyboard, they've actually got the text in here. They've got the images in here. If you don't actually have the image created during the strategy phase, mm -hmm. It's perfectly normal to put in a box in here and say this would be a, a, a picture of the team um, put in a, a box showing the size of this particular video and say this would be a video looking at the wild Atlantic way um, and then over here putting in a box and say this will be a picture of a Cranog or whatever and if you don't have the text what I will need to see is I need to see you know where the text will appear on the screen and just a brief description of it so you know, if you turn around and they put in an L-shaped box in here showing where this text is going to be, and this will be about us and about the team and so on, that's fine. The same here, our team, three images. If you don't have the images, put in the box and just put names on, on the box and then a little bit of a description of each of the people and so on involved, okay? So that's perfectly normal. Um, I think this is the last page of their actual uh, website, and you can see here it's contact us page with, with uh, Google Maps and so on. OK, so we'll be looking at all of these and how you create all of these later on. But um, this is all done in PowerPoint. OK, so this is their in total. They have, I think, seven pages in their, in their in their website and your storyboard here versus the final product. As you can see, it's very similar to it. Slightly different with regards to a couple of spacing things on it and so on. But this is what it looks like in PowerPoint. This is what they finalize and what it finally looks like in um, in Wix. OK. Um, and it's very similar to it. Now, you know, this is actually, um, it's, it's almost identical. In a lot of cases, your plan and your strategy might be, might differ from your, uh, your eventual, your final product. That's not unusual either, okay? So with Facebook, they don't need to draw out every page because of the fact that they're using Facebook pages. But what I want to see is, you know, what, what they're suggesting that they will do, what Facebook in other words, how Facebook will help them achieve their aims. That's really what's in there, okay? And again, be you know, be as specific as you possibly can. How LinkedIn will attempt will help them achieve their aims. How direct emails will help them achieve their aims. Now, with regards to direct mails, if if you wanted to, you could actually do a mock-up of a newsletter and put that in there as a storyboard as well. Instagram, how that will help them achieve their aims. And you can see the different hashtags they're going to use and what they're going to do and the type of campaigns and approaches they're going to use. Okay. And then finally TripAdvisor and how that will help them. So again, all of these things, they've put a lot of thought into their um into their storyboards and into their descriptions. And um it's in total this is a this is a very good um channel definition example.